I ask you, do you think the person sitting next to you is the same as you? Maybe you're both wearing a red shirt and have blue eyes, but really, are you the same? You aren't really the same, and neither is your learning style. What works for your friend might not work for you. Today, we live in a digital age where it is acceptable to be a different learner, with new ways of technology that promotes different types of learners. Today, you, your children, your cousins, your nieces and nephews, your grandchildren, your sister and brother, all have access to information. It is our responsibility as teachers, as dedicated members to society, to make information relevant to students and provide it in a way that is not only helpful, but also relevant to students. Thankfully, there are many programs available to help teachers teach their students all in meaningful ways. Have you ever tried a cool new technology that has changed your life? Different learning modules illustrate to students diverse points of view on the same material, all through the many assorted technological applications that are available in the 21st century. Textbooks no longer remain a teacher's preferred method for reference. Do you remember having to lug your bag to school 15 pounds with all your textbooks and the thousand million words that make no sense to you? Today, people are noticing this and starting to make a change. Textbooks are becoming obsolete in schools thanks to the power of PowerPoint. PowerPoint is one of the most innovative tools in education during the past century and has provided an innovative alternative to the traditional teaching method, allowing all types of learners to engage with the subject matter. PowerPoint is one of the original technological tools used to provide information that has been adapted by the education world, used to transform information from books and websites to teacher slides that they present to their students to make information effective. Research shows that PowerPoint is not only a great tool for students, but is a great tool for teachers. Teachers are able to use PowerPoint to guide them through a lesson, benefiting all students in the classroom. While students are learning, they can look at the PowerPoint and hear the teacher speak, copy down notes they see on the board, and also copy down things that they hear from the teacher. This emphasizes and bolds the main content of the lesson, allowing all students to succeed, causing a very minimum amount of students getting lost. Eugene Gallagher, an education consultant and director of Joy Schechtman Mankoff Center for Teaching and Learning, agrees that PowerPoint slides can provide starting points for interactive process that promote learning. PowerPoint is not supposed to be used just as a presentation for the students. Teachers are supposed to use the presentation that they make so that they can teach their students. Slides give the teachers a starting point, and then after that, they need to engage with their students with the material. As Mary McCabe, a third grade teacher at Brewerton Elementary says, when students hear the information orally as well as see it on the board, they're able to better understand and comprehend the information and make sense of it on their own. Not only are statewide standards are looking at technology and incorporating that in every standards lesson. Students can make their own PowerPoint presentations, preparing themselves beforehand, and then coming to class prepared so that they don't get nervous while standing in front of the classroom. Have you ever made something and thought, wow, this is really amazing? The power of creating one's own work is very valuable, but in the elementary school age, teachers must monitor the students' work and learning. This allows for students to make connections on their own It is important to remember that elementary school age kids are still kids, not always making the correct decisions when it comes to using technology. So get out there, make your own creations, and you'll be pleasantly surprised.